there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and it's Whip Wednesday. Do do do. Watch me whip. Watch me crochet. Watch me knit, knit. Watch me yay. It's Whip Wednesday. Still a little low on the mojo. Been doing a lot of stuff in my personal life, and I th I'm hoping that I've got. I'm um, starting to figure out some rhythms and stuff so I can start finishing things. Tune in tomorrow for my finished object on things we're making Thursday because I did finish something for that. So tune in tomorrow for that. Um, the only other thing that I have worked on this week, like seriously, is um, this. I don't know... Like, it definitely has some hang off of the thing. It's definitely bigger than the needles now around. So that's exciting. Um, I, the nice thing about taking kids to the dentist is that I have plenty of time to work on this at the dentist. Um, and I do sometimes work on it other times as well. So I'm really excited about it. Um, gonna keep going. The, I'm going to tell you about the yarn again just because I know a lot of people like that. Uh, it's from Premier Yarns. It's Wool Free Lace. Uh, this Each of these skeins is um, 448 yards or 410 meters. And the net weight is a lot smaller. 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. And then it's 88% acrylic, 7% PBT, and 5% metallic. And the metallic is that beautiful sparkle. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Like if I go in so it's blurry, you can, it kind of picks up the light from the sparkles. I love this. I love that it's sparkly. I love the yarn. It's so fun. Um, Shannon of Another Yarn sent me two of these. So, um... If I get to the end of this and feel like it needs to be longer, I have more yarn, I can do that. And if I get to the end of this and I'm like, oh well, that 100 gram ball or skein went really far, then I don't need to add the other one and I can use the other one for something else or send it on or we'll see. But I'm excited about this and it's easy and fun so I can do it when I don't, especially if I don't have to think about anything. So that's nice but like I said it's the pretty much the only thing that I've been working on however somebody in my comments from one of my last video or I think it was my last video she wanted she said tell us about the yarn because some of us might have it in our stash so this is the skirt that I've been working on I have not done anything more with it um so it's just gonna sit here for a minute where well I figure out what I'm doing um, this is the yarn that I have um, and I got the yarn ball so I could tell you about it because it is a discontinued yarn so the only way I could get another one is if somebody has it in their stash and I'd be happy to pay for it um, or I could send it to me as a gift. Either way, I'm good. Um, so if you have it, reach out to me. I would love to see if I could get more. Um, it is from Yarn Bee. It is Rainbow Rhaps Rhapsody. The color is Ivy League. Okay. Um, net weight seven ounces for 918 yards and I just I'm just not sure because of my personal size um, if I would have enough to make a full skirt if I was thin like my 16 year old daughter um, then I know I would have enough to make a skirt but you know I, I I'm not um, this yarn is 7 ounces. It's 198 grams, 
60% cotton, 40% acrylic. And it is a size one yarn, so um, I'm loving it. Maybe I should, maybe I'll uh, ask um, Shannon if she has another one that I can buy from her or something. Because um, it's a really pretty color and I would love to make a full skirt, um, but also, you know, have to work with what I got. I think I'll do that. I'm going to reach out to her as well, see if she has um, another one of these, just so that I can know that I have enough for a skirt. Like I said, I'm willing to buy it. Okay, so that's it for Whip Wednesday. Um, like I said, I, I'm, I'm working on um, my routines. And school gets out in um, about a week. And so our routines are going to completely change. And I'm hoping with that change I can like actually give myself time and be like, this is the time that you work on some of those projects that you've been putting off. So, um, I can still have other projects that I work on throughout the day, like um, sometimes watching movies. I'll just pull up whatever easy project there is to work on. Um, I usually keep it by myself when I'm there. But there's some things that I need to actually kind of give myself a designated work on it time, I think. That's what I'm gonna try out for a few weeks, see how that works. So that hopefully I can start showing you more objects, works in progress and finished objects and all that stuff. So remember, pull it up again. Remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.